Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. Caruso for the rest of your life? Come on, you gotta think big, sis. This, man, all this here is just temporary. Oh, that weirdo is your boss, Rocco. Chef Marcello Ray has hired a new kitchen hand by recommendation, and the two have yet to meet. Could be a convenient way to infiltrate the mansion. FYI, according to our research, Chef Marcello has been trying to replicate Isabella Caruso's famous home cooking, but Silvio Caruso is not impressed. I suggest you give him a helping hand. Get your shit together, and you're asked to work. Pronto! It's almost lunchtime. Okay. You don't get it. I'll be right there. <gasps> Why do I keep doing this? I can't ah, remember what's so going to be. Have... Go ahead.
Chef Marcello. I'm the new kitchen. Sorry, I'm late. You're damn right you are. <sighs> Never mind. Y you can finish this tomato sauce. Maybe you can get it right. I seem to be jinxed. When you're done, ring the dinner bell. Sure thing, boss. I'll give it some love. Russo will be coming to lunch shortly. His last meal, I presume. Well, this is something else. My last gig was with a media tycoon based in Mexico City. Places like that, you can really sense the danger. This town looks like a freaking white telephone film. Yeah, it's pretty idyllic. Would you believe I haven't lost a shot since I got here? Whatever these such is commercial. That is Silvio Caruso. is evidently having an affair with Caruso's golf coach, Roberto Vargas, a notorious ladies' man. Vargas has turned DeSantis' bedroom into a candlelit love nest and plans to call on her after his golf lesson with Caruso. Well, she should know better than to mix business with pleasure. Francesca. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not the one who calls. I did say that, but uh, 
Hey, the guy can change. So, did you get my message? Music to my ears. We'll meet up in your room, okay? I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. He's unusually patient today. No, please. Surprise me. Ciao, Bella. Hey, you there. Not the same. Vargas.
It's me. Roberto. Silvio let you off early. I want us to meet. Your room. Mm. I should say no. But you won't. See you soon. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. Understood. Security! You are not safe here. Clear out! Roger, Wilco. Nicely done, 47. DeSantis will be here shortly. I suggest you get in the mood. That is Francesca DeSantis. Candles, my favorite. You are impossible, Roberto. Look, don't talk. Just listen for a second. I like you, Roberto. You're a lot of fun, and I could even see this. I mean, I, I, under the right circumstances, we... The situation... Destroy the virus. This prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit.
walk me through this? Right. Well, this is the control... Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Yes. We use a unique compound that breaks down the protein coating, which protects the virus, effectively killing it by damaging its DNA and RNA, so it neither infects cells nor replicates within the cell. Belt and suspenders, huh? You better believe it. It is a natural state. The prototype is infected so everyone inside the lab is out of chemics. The most ferocious organism. What's up, Doc? Now all we have to do is payment. Anyway, the air purification system steers the smog sensor, so you can enter without a hazmat suit. Just don't do the machine. Thank you. Fire version A. Stay ready. A host could transmit the virus to everyone she meets. From the point of exposure until the string is in. In case of an accident, the central lab unit is kept perpetually doused in chemicals to stop the virus prototype from spreading. Entering without a hazmat suit is sure to be lethal. The air purification system is able to clear the toxin, but the controls are only operated by senior lab personnel. This is where Mr. Santos keeps all the research data. He's the stuff that might be close to her chest. Why? We all signed an NDA the size of a phone. Yeah, well, there was this incident in the wild. All right, where Mr. are you? I made a copy of the hard drive for selling his book. It was a milk. Luckily, we can all be on the phone. Just seriously, don't touch it. Get it. That's it. Don't want to throw it in there. Right. Set 47. Time to kill the competition. There, in the sealed container, the virus prototype.
Objectives complete. Now head towards an exit. Out of the way! Out of the way! Security business! You alright, man? Apparently there's a guy out there being real suspicious. I got a psycho on premise. The security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see how you did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. And we're even. <laughs> 